final table is set in the World Series of Poker $3,000 No Limit Hold'em Shootout, and it is stacked with notable players including David Baker, Ryan Hughes, Cliff Josephy, and Max Steinberg, who will all be looking to add to their gold bracelet collection, as well as Chris Klodnicki, Tim West, and Steven Zugwatt Silverman, who are all chasing their first bracelets. We cut up with Silverman after he made the final table to get his thoughts on this unique No Limit Hold'em format. Yeah, I really like this format because it, it really includes many different um, you know, formats. You know, you start full ring and then you get short and then you play a lot of shorthand and then you get heads up and the structure starts to usually get heads up. You know, we got heads up, 100 big blinds. Um, it's a pretty deep heads up match for a tournament. So definitely a pretty cool format. Silverman has had a great year so far in 2013, making three final tables and taking down the 25,000 euro buy-in high roller at the EPT Grand Final for more than a million dollars. We asked Silverman, who years ago was best known as a high-stakes online cash game grinder, how he's been able to have such a breakout year on the tournament circuit after taking some time off from poker. Um, yeah, well, I, mean, I, I came back to poker in summer, last summer, 2012, with the World Series after not playing for like three and a half years, and so much, so much changed while I was gone. The games got really tough both tournaments and cash games. And um, yeah, a lot of my core group of friends really excelled at tournaments while I was gone. They came back and I've always liked playing tournaments and I'm um, fortunate enough to talk with a lot of great tournament players and learned a lot how the games changed, worked a lot on myself. And um, tournaments, yeah, they're very exciting and I'm fortunate enough to just run pretty well. <laughs> As a former cash game player, we asked Silverman how much the prestige of winning a tournament title and its attendant hardware would mean to him. I would say any poker player, just any big tournament, they're gonna, you know, they want to win for the pride or the, you know, not the pride, but like it's it's such an accomplish. It, it definitely feels like an accomplishment, even if you just run absurd and just and just win. Also, it's like more validating for like my my parents and like you know my um, they they really enjoy tournaments more. It's like when I would just, even when I used to play high stakes cash and I was swinging like way more than like you know. <laughs> the final table ball, you know, I'd be swinging like absurd amounts in line and like they they just have no idea what's going on. But if I get deep in the tournament, it's like really exciting. So um, that's that's always cool. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, I, it's sweet that I'm having a good year and it's, it seems to be keep going. So I'll just keep at it. With all this top talent battling for the bracelet and the first place prize of nearly $300,000, this is sure to be an exciting final table. Stay tuned to Card Player TV for more coverage of this event and all of the other great tournaments here at the 2013 World Series of Poker.